Well, right now I'm here with Teddy Osei from OCB, sir. I suppose I should say welcome back to Chennai. You've become a, a regular to this city, haven't you? Yeah, you, you know, it's lovely to be here anyway. You right. know, and um, it's nice to come back because all our shows here and meeting people uh, and uh, like you has been uh, really interesting. And um, yeah, we would like to come to Chennai. Well, I have a question to ask you now. My parents are big fans of yours. A lot of people I know, parents, grandparents, you have generations of families who are fans of yours. Yes. Is it tough to keep track when people come up to you and say, I met you 20 years ago when you performed here. How do you handle that? <laughs> they, they, they always come and, and, and say that, oh, I, I, you know, I was there in 1972. Uh, well, some was, oh, I was there in 1980. Uh, it, it all makes it interesting, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes it, it makes it so nice that I, to see. Oh, so if if actually you know uh, been made made people happy since yeah, yeah. all these years, and they remember it, <laughs> and they remember it too. <laughs> yeah. So <clears throat> yeah, no, it's, it's it's you know it's, it helps you know to go on. Else, you know, what's the point? Right. Uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't actually need too much uh, to to be going all the way, but the feeling of the people talking to them and uh, people be, being happy and said, "Oh, I know you. Oh, I, I've heard of you. Oh, my father saw you here." You know, so, <laughs> so it's, it's it's encouraging, right. very very encouraging. Right now, people always make a big deal about you know bands that have been together for twenty years, twenty five years. This is something that you all have done with ease. So, what does it feel like having been around for so many years and still being so popular? Uh, first of all, it's it's nice, you know, that it means that actually you're taking a profession whereby you've been able to make people. Uh, you know, like what you're doing. You know, um, if you do something and uh, people like what you're doing, and they come and tell you straight in the face, <laughs> then you know, I mean, you you, you can always uh, be happy. Right. Yeah. And coming back to talking about your genre of music, I love that nowadays when you research it, it always comes up as world music. Yes. But 20 years ago, we didn't have a category like world music. So how did you all uh, you put yourself in the right genre or what box did you put yourself in? You know, say in the 70s, there was no world music, right? What did you all like to call yourselves in those days? Yes, funny enough, uh, you know, the world hasn't caught up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. so actually when the world caught on and said, ah, so they they made it well music, music. but we started with uh, uh, a crisscross rhythms that explode with happiness. Right. You know, so that happiness was, was our our theme uh, to to move around, and uh, you know, uh, God, God being so good, uh, people liked it. Right. Um, and uh, you know, and uh, the British press called it uh, uh, Afro rock. Correct. You know. And that was all right too, right. <laughs> yeah. And when you go, went to America, they they also call it uh, 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 jungle uh, jungle rock or something like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> and there were so many so many touches given us to us. But uh, right. world music has actually captured everything because we actually made world music known. You know, right. we, we made it because we were the first to sing uh, in English. In our own language, yes. in in uh, even in Hindi, right. <laughs> you yeah. know. So uh, we made it uh, like it's, it's a world stage. You know? right. Of the world, I mean, OCB is known uh, widely for besides their albums, also yeah. touring all over the world, yeah. right? So, do you have any interesting experiences that you can share that stand out in your mind? I know it's more than thirty years of touring that we're talking about, but any fun stories you can share with us in your travels? Uh, well. You know, first it's interesting. Interesting to uh, the first time to come to India because what happened was we um, we were invited by Kampakula. Wow. Uh, is it a Kampakula going on? It's Coke now, Coca Cola, <laughs> but not Kampakula anymore. <laughs> uh, Kampakula and um, uh, the series of uh, shows that was planned was en encouraging. Right. You know, from. Uh, Delhi to Bombay to Madras, Kolkata. Kolkata, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, the, the, the shows were outside, 
you know, about 30 people, 30,000 people, wow. you know, so it was it was a, a good platform for the band to be in India. Right. Yeah, uh, apart from that, uh, the only shows that uh, I think has been uh, a standout is when we performed in Ghana mm -hmm. in the stadium, wow. you know, about 45,000 people, wow. you know, in, in, a, in your own home. Uh, so uh, it, it just blew our minds. Right. And are you always coming across people from Africa who love to claim y'all, you know, as their own? I think a lot of Africans are so proud of y'all and you'll put African music on the world map. So you must come across a lot of fans, right, saying things like, you know, well, you did something great for Africa. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It was, it was, it has been like that, you know, though they, they don't say that they are, they are, it's great that we put something of Africa in the world. They, they, they are proud that We've, 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 we, we are doing it, and we're doing it in African way. Nice. <laughs> Tell us a bit about the African way. What is the, the frame of mind like? The frame of mind is um, not to try to um, copy too much, you know, of the American or the English type of way, because the, everybody can play. If we are a good player, we can play American music. Correct. You can play uh, British music. Right. But... Wherever you're from, if you're not from Africa, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Very nice. You yes. know, yes, so, true. yeah, yeah, it's, it's true. But we 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 know that, uh, and um, um, and and we try to actually tell the youngsters yeah. that uh, you know, uh, especially the the Africans that you don't need, you don't need to, uh, you know, to copy the Americans too much, because if you copy them. You know, we become second rate mm -hmm. because you can't play. You can't do the same thing as they are. Yeah, you are, yeah. you are only doing an imitation. Correct. You know, yeah. so uh, we always tell them. But you know, youngsters want to. They they want to find the, the easy way out. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That's why they're doing all this rap and, uh, and all things. You know, in Africa, this, this rap is very popular. Yeah, yeah, it is. Also talking about, you said African music, and you said it so well, you know, not this is not something that everyone can do, but uh, at the time when y'all came out, your music was very popular on, like, the Billboard charts, and it was it was commercially successful. Yes. Did you expect that uh, people would react uh, like this? Yes, yeah, the, um, you see, when we started uh, in London, uh, uh, you know, we couldn't get anywhere to play. <laughs> You know, really? because yeah, yeah, because the, the, our music was different. And they were like, "What kind of music?" Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and uh, and and most of the um, the agents, uh, booking agents, and uh, uh, and and the show people, they think that oh, they are one of those black political ah, groups. You know, yes, yes. because we were all black. That's the first time all, you know, an all black, our band, all black band, band in, in 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 the West. Mm. You know, so. Uh, they, they, were, they weren't sure, but we kept on playing at, in clubs um, and, and some, some places. Uh, they said, oh, we, we can't pay you because, you know, uh, you know, your music is different. I said, okay, you don't pay us, we'll come and play. Wow. For free. Yeah, yeah. For free, mm -hmm. you know. And some places that uh, we said, oh, uh, you know, we don't have a public address system. I, I said, you know, I said. We you, sing loud. <laughs> I said. You hire one in there and we'll pay for it. Wow. Well, all of the Indians love to find similarities between African and Indian music and the culture. They say, you know, you've got these beats, Africans love to dance, so do Indians. So uh, do you think that's one of the reasons that uh, OC Bisa is also so popular in India? Indians love to say this. Yeah, yeah, it's very similar to Indian music. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shed some light on that for it's, us. It's, it's very, very similar. Uh, you know, we have um, Indians in, in Ghana. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, they they like it too. Uh, we performed in in, uh, in London at the National Theatre, and the, the whole crowd of Indians came in there. And when we started the we go party, hey, oh. they all <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. They just jumped, you know. And oh, what a good feeling! Uh, it was nice. It was was was, was nice. And uh, no. Um, no, it, it's been it's been going good. It's been going good. Right. Well, I, I'm also very curious. Are there any young artists these days that you listen to 
I mean, the times have changed immensely from your time when Africans had it really difficult to now some of the most uh, popular and some of the most wealthy artists right now are all of African descent. So are any any favorites for you uh, in the current music scene, any of the youngsters? Oh, um, I think, uh, yeah, for, for, for quite some time, uh, uh, Yusuf Ndo uh, was presenting a great African uh, music, you right. know. Um, uh, it can be any genre. I mean, what do you like to listen to when you're just relaxing? What kind of music do you like? Well, I like any uh, a, a, a mixture of African music. Okay. You know, um, uh, even if you do a rap and it's got rhythms of right. Africa, I like it because, right. you know, uh, but most of these guys, uh, they, they do it <laughs> American funk kind of thing, which, is, which right. is goes out of the way right, altogether, right, right. you know. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I like good music. Right. And any type of good music. Right. And, and I like very much Indian music too, especially okay. the sitar. You like the sitar? Oh, yeah. And the tabla. And the tabla is an amazing <laughs> instrument, right? Oh. You love your percussion, don't oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the tabla is uh, it's become um, a sound of India anyway. Mm. Yeah. True, very yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. And I think yeah, the sitar is also uh, now becoming an instrument that the world knows as well, right? Yeah, all the rock, rock musicians are playing it. The sitar. It's become cool now. The sitar has become, slowly becoming cool. Yes, yes. <laughs> also talking about uh, your show in Chennai um, and being back in Chennai, is it an exciting feeling for you all to come back to the old fans who are so excited? Uh, it is, you know, because... Um, Sometimes you know you feel that oh you're tired you can't go all this journey mm. <laughs> because I know, yes. because the journey it's is a long, so, journey. So, so long journey uh, but when you think about ah uh, you're going to make some nice fr nice uh, friends again uh, they're going to love you you're going to see how the country has changed you know all, all this makes you edge edge yeah, to, yeah. To, <laughs> to go yeah so so that is it's, it's cool. Right. And how do you prepare before a big show? Everybody has their way. Some people, you know, like to get into the zone. Some people like to psych themselves up. How do you usually prepare before a big uh, show? No, prepare a show is, um, you know, I mean, like like any 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 uh, daily life, you know. Uh, but it's one, like going to the office. Yeah, well, <laughs> well uh, it's probably more exciting than going to the office. <laughs> 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 uh, right. But. Um, you know, when we get in there, we do a, 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 a sound check. Mm -hmm. You know, then after, um, you know, uh, then we went to the dressing room and go and psych ourselves up. But uh, like ordinary, we we either be singing or you know having a chat or or saying something or doing something for a laugh or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You Let's know, get the good mood. I will get you. Uh, get the vibes going. Yeah. So that's what we do. Well, we have a question that all of our Indian listeners want to know. You know, Indians love their food. So is there an in, do you eat a lot of Indian food and do you have a favorite Indian dish that you like? We must ask this question. Okay, okay. Uh, no, I like Indian food, you know, especially when, when I come to India. Mm -hmm. Because the Indian food here is not, here the, is same. Good, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> not the same as long down no. Indian food. <laughs> yeah. It's too much sugar, you know, over there. Right. Uh, but... This this uh, afternoon, I went to the restaurant down here, and the uh, fish and the crab mm. and uh, uh, oh, the, the oh, the taste was great. Well, we're, we're happy that you're enjoying the Indian. No, no, food. I, I, I I enjoyed the Indian food. You know, I mean, this is this is no 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 no, no two ways about it. You know, and and the way the spice is going. Uh, you know, it's not like African anyway, but uh, the way the spices go in is very refreshing. Right. Yeah. Well, before we come to the end of our interview, is there anything you'd like to say to all of your fans in India and all of the listeners of Chennai Live 104.8 FM? Yes, you listeners, uh, you know we love you. And do you have a message to any other aspiring musicians who are trying to step out, you know, of the usual comfort zone and do something different? What would you like to say to them? Well, uh, I've, I've, I've forgotten some Indian musicians are, 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 are new names already. But uh, whoever is trying to come up with um, a fusion, mostly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a fusion of uh, their own original music, and, uh, and uh, combined with 
uh, any music from the world. I appreciate it. Well, sir, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, it's been a pleasure and uh, we'll have a great stay and enjoy the rest of your trip here in India. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, it's, been, it's been so nice talking to you. We'll be, I've had a good laugh. <laughs> I'm happy to keep you entertained. Thank okay. you so much once again.